So hello, welcome. This is going to be a very, very short video on um, essentially how to do a warm vertical technique. Um, uh, the, 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 I suppose the, the great thing about a warm vertical technique is that um, it fills all of the kind of um, the, the aberrant anatomy inside the root canal because um, it, it, if you think that when you use your uh, root canal files that these files um, are shaping a nice um, small um, kind of a rounded shape in the canal you, you'd be wrong okay because the canal shape um, is not round it's oval so um, the, 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 the problem with warm vertical technique of course is it's very very technique sensitive and it can be a little bit difficult to uh, get your head around um, the things you're going to need is you're going to need a resin based sealer. You can't use a biceramic in this case because um, a resin based sealer can be used with heat. You're going to need, obviously, you're going to need a backfill unit. You're going to use something that can deliver warm gutta perca to uh, the canal. And also, you're going to need um, a heated plugger and ideally some Mach 2 pluggers as well. So let's get into it. So, the, obviously, the most important thing to do is to dry the canal before you start anything. It's all. And you can see here when we're drying the canal that the uh, the, the, uh, the, the the paper point just rattles inside this canal. It's very, very small. And it's the same with the GP point. So we're just going to um, put the GP point to length and obviously going to take a, a comfort radiograph just to see if it is at length. And you can see it's just really, really, really wide in there. That, that kind of uh, matched cone does not fit uh, the inside of the canal. So the second thing we're going to now do is we're going to get our heated plugger and then we're going to just guesstimate around where f about five millimeters away from the apices this fits because that's significant. That's how much you're going to push down um, into the canal to condense this kind of apical uh, GP plug. And we're going to use this uh, AH plus re uh, resin base root canal sealer to, to, to complete the, the, the um, warm vertical technique. So we're going to coat the, uh, the matched cone with the, uh, with the resin base sealer and then we're going to fit it to length. And then this is where it's a bit squeaky bum time. OK, so you're going to have to get your heated plugger and then you're going to have to activate the heat and then you are going to push down with the heated plugger um, until you reach that kind of point where um, it's it's about five millimeters away from the apical end. You're going to count for 10 seconds and you're going to continue to push down and as you count to 10 seconds once you get to that mark where you've been pushing down for that length of time you're going to twist and you're going to pull it out and ideally you want to push pull out all of the gp in a wanna like it is here on the heated um on the heated plugger and then you are hopefully going to leave about five millimeters of gp um, from the apical end and you're going to use this mac 2 plugger now just to push down into the into the apical end um, you could use um, the heated plugger um, the problem with using um, the heater plugger to push it down is twofold. One, if the heater plugger is still hot and then you uh, push down, you risk pulling out the GP. And also, um, if you've not got a heater plugger, you'll realize that the ends are quite malleable, they're quite um, bendy. So these Mac 2 pluggers are like stainless steel so that you can, you know, can really push down onto uh, the GP without worrying you're going to bend uh, the heater plugger tips, which are very expensive. And then some people like to backfill their GP from top to bottom. I am not so brave, so I like to place a little bit of warm GP and then I like to condense it down um, with my uh, Mac 2 plugger. I would say um, that it once it's usually I do this when I can't quite see the end of the, uh, the GP plug. Um, but you'll you'll see in a minute that once I have um, uh, placed a few kind of layers of warm GP and I am getting closer to the end of uh, of the root canal, I then just backfill this completely. So if I can visualize this with my um, with my microscope, I will just just backfill it all the way up of course if you don't have a microscope um 
he, and 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 you fill it all the way, um, you risk placing voids in the canal and um, you know you might say to yourself well what what why why is a void um, a, a huge thing if I've cleaned and shaped the tooth um, bacteria will remain in this root canal usually in the uh, dental tubules you, you're never going to get rid of all of the bacteria and if you um, have a have a void in a tooth then that is potentially a space or an environment for that bacteria to uh, proliferate and of course as bacteria proliferates then um, you know you get root canal failure you're going to get a persistent apical uh, inflammation and you can see here now that I have um, managed to see all of the canal space in my microscope and I just backfilled it all the way and you can see um, now in this root canal that it's just a monoblock of GP and it looks fantastic. So if you like these videos, um, I do a lot of uh, live um, uh, videos of root canal treatments once every Friday. And I sometimes do these kind of educational um, sorts of videos as well. If you like these, please, please like and subscribe. And I do have a membership program. The membership program includes exclusive contents not available on my uh, public channel. And of course, um, by signing up to the membership program, you are supporting the channel and it makes me um, or it helps me do more and more of these videos. Have a nice day and I will see you very soon. Bye bye.